A 73-year-old man in Akron, Ohio, found a burglar inside his home and then held him at gunpoint until police arrived. Now, the homer said as he was already on edge because his home was already broken into just a few days ago. As Bob Jones reports, he wasn't about to let that happen again. It's just a six-hour nine-millimeter. And Daniel McGowan says this pistol was loaded. Oh, you betcha. When he confronted a stranger in his home this morning. They picked the wrong house. McGowan, a retired Akron area attorney, says the crimes actually started a few days ago when he was out of town. Someone busted open the front door and stole guns and ammo from a first floor closet, laptops from upstairs, but left disassembled TVs behind. When I got home, this just swung free. McGowan put ladders against the door, and then around 5 a.m. today, a burglar gave a warning. Somebody started ringing my doorbells. There are two doorbells, one front and back and they rang them repeatedly for about five minutes to see if anybody was home. The grandfather grabbed the gun, which he kept by his pillow, and found a man identified as 51-year-old Thomas Gaffney in his living room. And I pointed the pistol at him and said, if you don't move, I won't shoot you. Realizing he left his cell phone upstairs, McGowan ordered the burglar at gunpoint to walk up to the bedroom. I told him, uh, you're going to walk ahead of me and we're going to go upstairs where I can get my cell phone and call the police. And he said, please do call the police. Please don't shoot me. I told him to get down on his knees in front of the bed, and lay down on it with his arms out. And I called the police and they showed up and uh, here he was. McGowan says he was prepared to shoot and is grateful things didn't end worse. If he had reached his hand towards a pocket or something where I thought that he might have had one of the guns that went away last night or the night before, then I, I, I might have been tempted to do that. A man who practiced law wants justice, but said what happened is not a case of an avenging attorney. My home was being violated and here was a guy doing it, you know, in my presence, here's the guy. And I just wanted to make him stop doing that. Well, according to McGowan, police found ammo in Gaffney's pockets and drug paraphernalia. Now, he was taken into jail and charged with burglary. Police are now trying to figure out if Gaffney was involved in the first break-in. The guns, ammunition, and laptops that were stolen have not yet been recovered.